felt. Totally um, wonderful love and peace, filling me to the brim. Thank you so much. And Connie was looking at me. I felt like she looked past all the crap in my life and she was looking right into me. <laughs> and she knew me. And there was no hiding. And she looked right into me. She, she saw me, accepted me, and um, there was just a, a huge outpouring of love. Ross, you wanted to share? Yes, uh, Connie, I felt an extraordinary feeling in my heart space and it sort of rose up and in fact gave me a, a wonderful feeling of complete peace and equanimity which is extraordinary. I really appreciate the experience. Thank you for sharing Ross. Anyone else like to share? Is there someone else wanted to share? Okay, I think every I think everyone else is quiet, Connie and Jim. Creed, do you have anything to share? Creed is filming. We asked permission to film the interaction with you and people said they didn't mind. So Creed is actually filming this for you also. I think I'd like to share that I've been grieving for my husband for four and a half years and I finally let it come out through Connie helping me and I have been able to cry and I feel I can now and I will be able to be Oh, go on. Thank you. When the gazing first started, I could see very clearly a bright blue light <coughs> on Connie's right-hand side. <coughs> and as the gazing continued, the light got bigger and bigger until it was incredibly white. And I felt um, the impression that I felt in my heart was angelic. And then my heart started to palpitate and it's still palpitating like a little bird fluttering here mm -hmm. and it still feels like that thank you and uh, it's still it's still and it's still fluttering like in her heart um i felt um yeah, like space good. stop like time and then i felt a separation from body to the main kind of thing. amy said she felt time stop and she felt a separation from body to, to soul. Hello, I um, just want to say thank you. I um, felt intense heat and love in my heart. I just want to say thank you very much. I'd just like to share again a feeling of overwhelming love. Love and um, just very angelic presence and just overwhelming love to the point of almost bliss just my heart feels like it's just going to burst you can email us at info info at connieshaw.com info at connieshaw.com to report anything that uh, may have happened and then when i did the gazing um i was totally overwhelmed because two of my dead sons came through in her face, but especially Roddy, my oldest boy. It was him looking at me. And as I looked at her, Connie, to the side of her, there was a huge white form, um, head and shoulders, but both of my children superseded her face. So I want to say thank you for that. And I uh, just feel the uh, energy you know, come to your head and uh, I start, start crying. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, it just feel you know, her part, she wants to help you, she wants to share her to get, you know, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it just keep crying. It just not really quiet by my energy. I just feel her, you know, the, I just, because I just look at her face very focused and uh, I think finally, you know, actually that's God's face come back to her very shortly, maybe just one or two What seconds. face came back to us? You know, the Jesus. Jesus face? Yeah, you know, come to her. Yes. You know, that's just one or two seconds. You saw Jesus' face yeah, superimposed on Connie's. Yeah, it's a yes. Connie's face. But, if, but you know that's not Connie's face, but very, very close and just one or two Red seconds. curl. Yeah. Yes. And, and okay, and then she calls. Yes. You 
keep positive in your life and you appreciate everyone positive around you to help you, you know, to that. So, I, I mean, that's really amazing. It's not really, okay, like you're very excited, but you know that is the way that God to give you the God sending love. you love. Yeah, 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 you know, by, so this, you know, her, her energy is there and, uh, you know, that's, and the God actually maybe attached mm -hmm. her and, uh, you know, and uh, through her to give us, you know, the, the blessing. I, I, just... I didn't experience much in the physical sense, but I did see lots of colors, lots of aura around you. I also, and I didn't like to say it in front of so many people because it may have worried them, I also saw behind you um, a forest, a huge forest, call it a jungle, call it what you will. And later on in the experience, my partner actually said to me, and when we were having a coffee, I said, did you experience anything? And he said, I saw myself in a jungle and I was riding an ele elephant. <laughs> oh, how amazing. So that was really quite amusing. But it started actually well before when I saw her the first time in the talk and I just could feel something beginning. And then when she looked at me, I could feel all these shafts of light all over my body. And they were healing all past injustices and... Um, it was amazing. It was just incredible feeling. All unkindness, you know, all, you know, the unkindness that we have in the, the place, it just kind of was removing all of that. Dissolving the unkindness. And the injustices from, ch from childhood, from, you know, it's like even planetary, you know, 